If you're looking for something good to add to your summer reading list, why not start with a mystery written all over the side of your car's tires? Yeah, Fox News' Tony Martinez, Tony, as we like to call him, has more in today's <laughs> Behind the Wheel. So formal. The sidewalls of your car's tires are packed with information, but decoding that information can be kind of tricky. So we called in an expert. The first portion of this where it says LT, that's a light truck tire. That's Scott and I from Les Schwab. Scott started in the tire biz so long ago that we both had hair. How's that for credibility? It would be one of two. It would be LT or P. P indicating it's a passenger tire, LT being a light truck tire. That first letter is followed by a series of numbers. The 235 is 235 millimeters, and that's the section width of the tire. The width is followed by the aspect ratio, which basically tells you how tall your tire is. The tire's sidewall height is 75% of the width of the tire. Aspect ratio is followed by a letter indicating the tire's construction. The vast majority will have an R which stands for radial, and that's followed by the diameter of your rims, measured in inches. The larger the wheel, the more flashy it is, but it also serves a function as well. Rim size is kind of like a shoe size. If your rims have a 19-inch diameter, your car would wear a 19-inch tire. Your sidewall can also reveal your tire's load capacity, speed rating, and even birthday. Tire age is always a, a, a hot-button topic these days. You want to know how old your tires are is just one of the ways to identify the condition of your tires. As much as our lives depend on the safety and quality of our tires, you have to wonder if the average driver even understands these hieroglyphics in the first place. I think there's more people out there that know this information yeah. now because there is so much information available, but it's still a big secret to a lot of people that yeah. just don't understand yeah. what it means. But one more thing to keep in mind, your tire also lists a PSI number, but it refers to the maximum amount of pressure your tire could hold. The recommended amount, which is what you should be using, is listed here on your car's storage I'm Tony Martinez, Fox 12, Oregon. I don't know that I've ever looked at the inside of my car's <laughs> Do door it. jam. Do I it. need I to know. now. I say, when I got called Scott and said, I need a picture of you from like well, 20, 30 years ago when you had hair. He goes, let me get my wife on that. I think she had an absolute <laughs> blast. <laughs> <laughs> there was one of them from Halloween with this giant wig. Oh, <laughs> awesome. I love it. That was great, though. But also really great information. Yeah, there's a lot of information there if you just take the time to look. So Yeah. 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 Or call so Tony. Today, everyone's going to be in the parking lot going, That's right. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. 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 You Thank know, you could have made some sort of thing about bald tires. There and bald you go. There you go. Another thing. Oh, Next time. Yeah, that's yeah, part yeah, two yeah. coming up. Still have some tread here. <laughs>